we're going to find the inverse of a function. And they give us the function here that f of x is 3x plus 1. And they're telling us that it is 1 to 1. Okay, And they have to say that because if it's not 1 to 1, it's not invertible. And they want us to find the inverse. And the inverse, this is how we write the inverse right here. Okay, It's going to be f, and it looks like it's to the power of negative 1. It's not actually to the power of negative 1. That's just how they notate the inverse of x. So the first thing we want to do, let's talk about x's and y's. Okay, I have 3x plus 1. And we know that the f of x can also be replaced with a y. To find the inverse, what we need to do is we need to switch the x's with the y's and the y's with the x's. Okay, anywhere you see a y, you replace it with an x. And anywhere you see an x, you replace it with a y. All right, now at this point, this is the inverse of this right here. But you know that we always write it where we solve for the y. So let's go ahead and let's solve for this y right here. All right, to get the y by itself, we are going to subtract 1 from both sides. I will have x minus 1 equals 3y. And then one more step to get the y by itself. And we're going to divide both sides by 3. So here we have it. x minus 1 over 3 equals y. And this is the inverse of the function that they gave us. So we're going to write it in that notation. The inverse of x equals and then this is what it equals, x minus 1 over 3. All right, that's how you find the inverse. You replace all your x's with y's and all your y's with x's.